Hi, Via. My hair. Brushing my hair. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I wonder what happened to me. I need to tell you something. Growing up, I never felt like I was allowed to be myself for fear of being told off, excluded, or just treated like I'm a weird person. By the time in high school though, I owned the term being a weird person. And I called myself a weird person. And I said, I am a weird person. And I owned it. Then, I ended up losing that term. Leaving that term, eventually, as I decided, well, I'm not a weird person. I realized all I was doing was owning the things that people were calling me for being who I am. So that was step one towards my freedom. But now I have to walk out of it. Walk out of all labels and stereotypes to completely free myself and be absolutely true to myself. Um, I'm going to be honest here, I haven't liked my face and my appearance for a long, long time and I know that none of it is true deep down inside as it is all a temporary appearance. But right now it's like I'm full of hatred for myself, even though I don't think that way, it's just when I look at my face. I feel all these uncomfortable things. They're not like grasping me, but I just become very aware of these things inside of me. And I know they're not simply there for no reason. Your emotions and feelings only reflect where you are and why you don't want to be there. That's the real reason why we have emotions and feelings. They're not simply an illusion. They're also a tool and a guidance to where you really want to be in life. I achieved the ultimate freedom and the ultimate love for myself. And I loved how I appeared in front of others. Where even if I looked a little out of place every now and then, you know, sometimes, I don't know, I used to look better than now, but it's not about vanity. I'm talking about if I looked a little off compared to how I would like to be on some days, I still owned it because I knew it was just a small thing and it wouldn't even matter. And I can still be myself around people and they won't hate me, they'll love me. Or I trust that they love me and I just completely let it all go. I let go of all walls and blocks and obstacles and hands grasping onto my wings, clutching them back. I let them all go and I just danced freely every day and I didn't care. And if I think for a moment that somebody's going to judge me, whether positively or negatively, in a way that I don't want to be judged. Because yes, even positive judging can be unwanted, undesirable, because it's a type of lack of freedom that I feel for either or of both a positive or negative judgment sometimes when they're doing it in a way as if you are to be in a pigeonhole, you, you are to be put in a pigeonhole and in a stereotype of a box 
stereotypical box. And that's all you are. That's what it feels like. Like, there's so much more to me. And every look, every inch of my face right now. I know overall, I'm loving myself. But on my actual face, there's so much hatred and anger. And it's not just mine. The face I see the most right now is somebody else. A family member who I've been obsessed with for two or three two and a half years turning my other tablet off it keeps making noises and that is my family member I was about to name them but I probably won't and that's why I look the most like them compared to myself than I've ever been and I was just trying to understand them and let go of them that's why I kind of removed all of my real, true self to try and see if I can get rid of them just face to face. To prove to myself that maybe it's possible to do this even without the support of my kinder self, my personality self, my strong personality self. Because I built her up to be a strong character. So I, I became so infinitely free and confident that I felt like, you know what? If I can be this confident, but I'm still unable to face up to the sphere of that one person in my life, maybe I should just let go of all of this right now until I figure out this issue with this one person. I realize I shouldn't really have cornered myself like that. I shouldn't have done that. But it's what happened. And yeah, I think that's why I kind of hate myself right now. Um, I don't genuinely hate myself, but I'm in this state of hating myself. If I'm going to be honest, my body is as if I hate myself. But um, I don't hate myself. I'm on my side. That hating myself thing is just a small temporary moment. And I'm not even... T now I realize what I've been doing. I'm not talking to myself. I'm not talking to my real self at the same time as I'm talking to you on camera. That's what I was doing. It's such a bizarre concept. Like I'm looking at myself in the mirror. And I'm thinking things like out of my realization or all experience just then I realize now that this whole time what that was was my source connection sorry if I sound aggressive I'm trying to get back up there naturally again it was my source self that I was feeling this whole time but I treated it like it was my ego and I removed it and the only reason I did that was because of the one sliver of ego I had left that was unnecessary to have. Obviously, there's more important ego to have, like values, ambition, morals, just beliefs that are important to you, but you can still be flexible about because you don't want to be like contradictory to everyone. But you do have to stick for something. And that's why my nose was so prominent in the past before I started breaking it physically. Because I thought there was something wrong with it because of something a family member said to me. And it's always male members who say something to me like this. Like um, the last couple of years, three years, it was males that I had the problem with. I really, really loved my feminine self. And my masculine self. But there was one part of me I was still refusing to connect together fully with all of my true self. And that was simply for the illusion of winning. Because I wanted to achieve that satisfactory ego win before I move on and actually win. But my family member, who's a male, the one who I've been focusing on all this time, 
not the same one who told me about my nose and said there was a problem with it. There was another, yet another family member who was a male, both in the older generation, by the way. So, yeah, this one that I'd been focusing on all this time in order to get over my problems of, my traumas of, problems with, this person, this person, what was I going to say again? This person was the only problem left in my life. This person, sorry, I'll scratch that. I'll say that again. This one person was the only, was the reflection of the only part left in me that I needed to completely alchemize to become whole in that realm of me. So I don't know exactly what frequency level or exactly that is, but I think it might be that if I completed that, all my anger, unnecessary rage, you know, I never had like fury on the surface, but I felt it so deep down in my stomach so many times because I never showed it on the outside, at least not to the level that normal people do. Whereas I would have intentional fits of like talking loudly to take out what I re repressed and suppressed. So I would have moments like that, but I knew I was consciously doing it in order to take care of myself because that was the only way I knew how for many years. And also loud breathing and, you know, just having fun with friends and just by myself in the streets or just laughing, singing, dancing, things like that, doing live streams and talking on YouTube and spamming on Instagram, but quality spams. So every post, I really put a lot of attention to detail and I made sure it would be really up to par with the quality content that people would like to see to follow me. And I was rapidly growing my Instagram page in 2018 and early 2019 and then when I became ill, felt like I was unable to do as much because I was so severely unwell and exhausted and tired every day that I couldn't post with as much energy as I would have liked. And so um, I had to put that off for several months. And ironically, as I started getting better physically, mentally I felt unwell. Mentally, I, I just felt like not posting anymore. Even though I wanted to, it's like I was purposely trying to get away from everyone just to play with them, you know. As if to punish them. But that whole thing was just an act. It was a projection of how I behaved for the last three years. The reason I became so unwell. Of pretending that I hate that one person. That I can't and I won't accept them. Until they show me an apology even though I could have easily let go of them from the moment they did that to me. And I won't even go far, far, as far as to say that maybe, like, I know it was my fault that that happened, blah, blah, blah. That's it, not even part of the point anymore. I mean, it is, but like, man, to explain all that so deeply as well, I'm just trying to make sure I won't overspill the beans, that I won't get deeper and instead just stay in a cycle. But I have to get deeper and deeper and deeper. And I've always been going deeper. And people like my brother, 